Hello, we just added the new 5D Mark III to our uh, family of cameras here at Celebrations of Tampa Bay, and our PR rep, Bella, is gonna help you take a look at it and maybe give you a few tips along the way for accessories. Look at the camera, Bella. Now, uh, we got this deluxe accessory kit from B&H that includes many things like the 24 to 105 lens, as well as the dual charger that Bella is pointing out right there. These dual chargers are really nice because they give you a little readout that tell you how much of the percentage of the battery is charged. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up the uh, box. It comes with a Canon utility disc, a software instruction manual, and the owner's manual. What's in here, Bella? Is it food? for the lens. It really makes a lot of sense if you don't have a 24 to 105 lens is to order it as part of the kit. Also with these lenses, you really wanna have a hood because I'm so brutal on my equipment. It helps protect me from breaking the glass. Another good idea with the lens cap is to label your lenses like I do with the uh, whatever your lens is and use uh, different colored uh, labels so that way you can easily find the lens you need to find really quickly and not lose your lens cap. Some of the things I got here that didn't come with a kit but I bought extra are the Zakuto viewfinders. The Zakuto viewfinders are find really useful especially if you're used to holding a traditional video camera. You can see how if you're a poodle and you're trying to shoot with this camera it can be a little difficult if you've got a long nose like that it's hard to get that eye close to the eyepiece to be able to see what you're shooting. However with the Zakuto viewfinder you just pop that thing right on there and then you can look right in and your nose fits right underneath there and so your eye can look right in there and it makes it easy enough even for a toy poodle to shoot. The other thing that was very important to me was the uh, battery grip. Now in order to uh, put the uh, battery grip on you gotta take the battery cover off and then you just take the uh, new battery grip slip it right in there put in your batteries like so and this particular kit came with the uh, rugged commando pro 45 DSLR shoulder bag such as you see here with plenty of pockets and storage room. Now that is a nice strap with the case. The case is probably a little smaller than what I need, so I'll probably be getting another case, but this strap will really come in useful, and although I may not use the case for the camera, it will come in handy for something else. Yeah, and let's see what else is in here. Oh, we've got the uh, wide neck strap. And we got, oh, another battery chart, and your regular AV cord, and a, a lens pouch, a USB cord. But they are, these are replacement batteries, but usually uh, B&H, when they have replacement batteries, they're, although maybe not Canon batteries, they're usually better than the real cheapo stuff. And look at this, a third battery. Here, when I was only expecting one battery, I ended up with three batteries. Hey, it pays to shop B&H. It also comes with a, a wireless remote and the LCD screen protectors. Now, I uh, have been shooting with the uh, 7D. However, the 7D has a tendency to overheat, which is why I decided to make the decision to go to the 5D Mark III. And uh, it's really a good choice when you're coming from a 7D because they're they feel very similar, almost at the same weight. They use the same battery, which I find is very useful. So I, I like just having one particular battery to be able to use on all my, at least all my DSLRs. They're, they're pretty close. It's got a good feel to it. And uh, I think I like it. I think uh, Bella's gonna have a pretty good time shooting with this camera. Get that right, Bella.